What's up everybody? My name is Jay Wass and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I almost like Car Mechanic Simulator. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do another wheel spin challenge in this video. Yeah, wheel spin challenge sounds like fun again. And uh, by the way, I absolutely hate these things. They are garbage, they're not that fast. They have the worst handling of any of the off-roading vehicles in this game. I don't want to be harsh, but that's just how I feel about them. And I have two super wheel spins for my VIP. Let's see what we get. Okay, so that didn't get me any cars. I'm trying to get a car with money, and I'm, I don't want just only money, so let's spin again. I remember making a joke about this in my last Wheel Spin Challenge video. I'm starting to realize four grand is not a very good budget, so I'm gonna do the Afford RS200, and I already have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it as a gift to somebody. It's 130,000 cars. If there's a way they can sell it, they bail me. It's new players, uh, welcome. Yeah. There you go, to whoever might receive this vehicle. I'm gonna take a normal wheel spin and whatever money I get out of that, as long as it's more than 10, five grand, I'll be all right. Fine, fine, I'll take 30 grand. Fine, we'll do this with 30 grand out, 30,000 30, budget. Okay, turning on my lamp and I'm gonna get a notebook, to keep track of this. All right, $30,000 budget with the Ford RS200. God, it does not feel like enough, I'm so used to spending at least 100,000 on my freaking cars. 30 grand is such a small budget, but that's part of this challenge. Now I'm gonna do what I always do when I get a new car in this game. New is a relative term. This car's been in this in Forza Horizon series for a while. And I'm gonna try to make a race build out of it. Unfortunately, I already have a lot of parts purchased for this vehicle. So that's gonna make it easier on me and how much I can spend. Thank Jesus for that. I never actually thought to make a race build out of this car since this car is notorious for being one of the best rally cars of all time. So, making a race build is going to be kind of interesting. I wonder if it can handle well, especially with that short wheelbase. I still can't get rid of the fact this car had 506 horsepower stock. Stock? It's an S1 class. Are you serious? This is going to be a challenge. I don't know about you guys, but I feel, always felt like the Ford RS200 was always ahead of its time when those first released back in the 80s. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and modify this car, and I'll be right back. Alright, made it to the top of the S1 class. We barely spent... Okay, I say barely spent. I have nine grand left to spend. Exactly, nine grand left. And it's at the top of S1 class. It's making 628 horses, 2.2 lateral Gs, weighs less. And the biggest problem I have is there is no race suspension for this car. So it's actually limited with that. I'm actually going to have to reduce that steering angle so it doesn't try to drift on me. Six degrees should do nicely. I think the differential setup is perfectly fine. I hope it is. Top speed's not too crazy. Let me see. No, that's the best I can do with that, apparently. I don't expect this to be the fastest car on the face of the earth, but we never know. It's got 7.9 on the handling. It's not the worst, but it's also not the best. Oh my god. I actually, I've only ever seen this car in white and, well, Ken Block's design as well. That blue is brilliant and bright. At least on the screen that I'm using. To you guys, it might be fairly shallow, but wow, that is insane. I think I'm gonna go with black. I am actually quite nervous about this race. I've never actually taken a rally car and try to make it a street racing car. This is so different. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this. But let's take it to my favorite track. It is the Lookout Circuit. Then I'm going to do another one that's a little different. I don't know if I can get it to S2 class or the top of... But uh, we'll do top, top of whatever class it can reach or whatever it can reach and do a race in it as well. Hey, it's actually got better handling than the four Focus RS 2017. I didn't think the Focus was that bad. <laughs> well, I feel like this is going to be a disaster. Oh, I am so not ready for this. And the road's already wet. That just makes it so much better. Yeah. Hey, that's not a bad launch. Everybody's already trying to pass me. This is great. Well, I I'm racing rally cars on a street race. I'm just now realizing that. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta ask a question. Are they... Do they have slicks on their car? They have semi-slicks on their car. So that's how they're gonna do this race. But why are they not... Why do they not have slicks on their car? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, semi-slicks makes it more set for a wet race. Crap. Okay, this car is doing significantly better than I predicted. Even on wet pavement, it, okay, I say that as I start losing traction. This guy is running away from me. Okay, how is this guy so freaking fast? He's pulling away so fast right now. I need to pull some tricks out of my sleeve. No brake, no brake. We're gonna go this full throttle. Now brake. Okay, yeah, that worked. That trick worked. That is a Ford Fiesta. How is that? How is that possible? Oh my god, he's pulling away again. This guy has no chill. I think that trick up here might actually help me get the lead, though. No breaking. Come on, come on. Pass him, pass him. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I gotta keep this lead. This is the last lap. That was way too fast. Oh yeah, he's staying on me. Sorry, dude, you lost. That was way too close. But this car is actually kind of surprised me there. Now, I would not do any good in S1 class rivals though. My best time on that is actually a lot better than I anticipated. But hey, now we know this is actually a good S1 class car. Let's see if I can make it an S2 if at all possible. Given the fact that I pretty much bought every single upgrade for this car. 
That might not be too difficult. All right, I have every possible upgrade on it. It weighs a little more because of the upgrades. And now it has 742 horses. The lotteries have slightly decreased, unfortunately. But according to the stats, the handling went up to 8 instead of a 7.9. So that's a slight increase. But I'm not sure how well it's going to compete against the AI that I'm going to be going up against for S2 class. But this is a challenge video. That's what this is here for. I didn't actually spend any money on that because I owned every one of those upgrades. I'm going to do this race. I... Don't think if it okay obviously i have done it since i've completed the accolade for it but i don't really do it that often so it's gonna be a challenge i just hope it isn't raining when i get in there yeah 920 i'm nervous see look at that eight handling that's it's like the most ever so slight improvement ever on handling but yeah it, i feel like i'll do all right wet road of course it is oh oh we already got an escort trying to pass me okay okay maybe trying to trip that corner wasn't a very good idea outside outside line outside line it's gonna work it worked i'm surprised probably because i tapped this front bumper these guys are definitely gonna get me run for my money okay they braked a little too much i am now on them what are you tapping me for i didn't do that to you well i might have if you didn't do that and i am in first place that was actually a little easier than anticipated okay 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 they got better acceleration and speed than me he's going for the inside line no thank you good sir that's not happening today and they're falling behind how inconsistent is the AI in this freaking game this car is a lot better than i thought it would be man those guys got better times than i did Look at the last place guy, he got 48 seconds. What if the Exosuit ORFE is actually a good race car? Maybe I'll get that in my next wheel spin challenge. I am apparently in a tropical storm. This looks like real life for me. Even for a rally car, I can't believe I'm saying this, it's actually a pretty good race car. I wasn't expecting that because, well, it's a rally car. It was built for the sole purpose of rally racing. But now that we got that out of the way, let's do a drift build. Let's see how that does and... I have a limited budget, so I might not be able to completely do a drift build, but I could always try. 740 horsepower it seems to be the max horsepower we can get out of this car. Unfortunately, that's the reality of it, so I'm going to be doing a minimalist design. Might actually not end up spending any money at all because of that. That is 10 grand. Uh, I don't have 10 grand. <laughs> No! I can't believe that it's out of my budget. I don't have 10 grand. I gotta make a makeshift version? What does the stock tire compound look like? It's rally tires. Jesus Christ. What have I done? I can at least afford that. Race transmission. I don't need all those gears to do uh, drifting. I don't actually need that either. I actually hate the transmission. It doesn't work that well. You know what? I'll try it. I have the budget for at least that. Let me try it. And the uh, drift diff I also need to get. So that's 5500 spent. Wait, way less. Smaller tires. I have less than, oh geez, smaller tires and crappy a tire compound. It's fine. 5,500. That'll leave me with 3,500 credits. I actually got left over with a budget. How about that? Although the last wheel spin challenge was super easy because of the absurd budget I had. That's why I wouldn't limit myself for now on. Let's see how 742 horsepower on rally tires does with drifting. Gotta make some adjustments to my tune and I will be right back onto the drift run. All right, we are now here. God, that sounds amazing. I love this freaking engine. That was not a bad, that was a terrible launch actually. But let's see how it does for four gears. This will be the first time I tried this transmission. Not, actually, not too awful, but it's also not doing that great either. 177K. It's actually not bad. It's actually doing better than the, uh, what's that grippy boy called? I can't remember the Super B. Oh, I got a gift. Oh, what do you know? What a surprise. It happens every episode. Let's just go ahead and see what that is. Great. Now I have like an extra gazillion of these. I'm just gonna thank you anyway. Give him a like. All right, I made a slight modification to my tune. That was a better launch that time. Let's see if it makes a difference with this drifting. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. 183k. That is most definitely better than the first attempt. Well, definitely making some slight adjustments to that tune actually did help a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to that. I actually need to look up how to pronounce that. And off we go. Yay. So much fun. Yay. This thing sucks with long drift areas. It's already lost its speed. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to try to drift with me. While I'm drifting horrendously. Hi, what's up? Yeah, go on by. I know I'm terrible at this. This thing absolutely sucks in this drift zone. Okay, maybe it's not doing that bad. 500k at this point is actually really good. Crap, this is not going well anymore. I mean, it got a better score than I was anticipating. But it's definitely not the best score that I could have gotten. Yeah, that was... That was pretty sad. Now I'm being followed by a BMW crazy guy. I get it. You're in a proper drift car. I'm driving a car that doesn't even have a thousand horsepower. You probably have over a thousand. Get away from me. All right. That is all the time I got for this video. This is an okay drift car. It's not definitely not the best, but it's not 
the worst either, which I can't believe I'm saying that. But I've definitely driven cars that are significantly worse at drifting than this car is. But if you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. I am topping out. Four Gear sucks. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.